Hi everybody, I want to welcome you to a tour of the downstairs and I wanted to kind of give you a point of reference so you know what's going on and where we are. We are at the east entrance to the downstairs area. There are two entrances by stairs, one by elevator which I'll show you later, but this is the east entrance. So if you're a little bit maybe northwest, east, south challenged, we are closest to the door uh, at the youth room. So instead of going to the youth room, turn left, that's where we are. So you come down the stairs and here we are in the basement and the purpose of this video is to show you what's going on down here, what's going to be going on down here and how it's going to be impacting our ministry all across the whole board here. So I want to first start off with what we have over here on this side. We have the library and the storage area. The storage area obviously is for storage that will be accessible by way of the hallway and then over here we have the library. The library is going to be an 840 square foot space and in this space we're going to be having books, we're going to be having tables, we're going to be having desks, we're going to be having areas where kids can sit and read and that's what we're going to be doing as we continue using our library program just in a different space. One of the probably most interesting parts about the library as we do this is this wall here. This library goes to right here when we have this, this pillar. This is an interesting feature because it is actually a glass wall, like a storefront, and this will enable a teacher to come downstairs and work with a class so that their whole class is together. Some can be working in the computer lab, some can be working in the library, and one of the questions I've been having is, as the, on the school side of life, does that mean that we're going to change the way that we do computer and have all 24 kids into the, library, into the computer at the same time because we will be able to accommodate that. And the answer is no. We're still gonna keep them split up in half. By having them split in half, that enables Mrs. Oka to work with half the class and have that same amount of efficacy she has now as Mrs. Archuleta is working in the library in her same capacity. So we're keeping that concept, but outside of that, if a teacher wants to come down here and bring a class, some working in the computer lab, some working in the library, that can be accomplished and that's why that's such an important feature. I'm going to move now into the computer lab itself. As I said before, the computer lab we are now going to be able to have double the capacity of what we have upstairs for the class and for any other use. It's large, it's, it's very large. Here is just one of the walls, it comes all the way over as far as this area here for the far wall, all the way, there's all this space. What you see right here is a water pipe for the drinking fountain. The drinking fountain will be moved out into the hallway area so it's accessible by anyone going up and down the hall. Now I'm gonna take you on the other side of the hallway so we can see a room that is very important and I say that because it's a, it's a very important space and opportunity for our youth. Starting here at this line, all the way to where we started before, will be our youth room and its storage room. Youth room will have its own storage, which is great, but this space is for the youth group. They will be able to have this space to do their stuff. Uh, I will comment that sometimes people were saying, but why would the kids want to go to the basement? because they're gonna feel like you're trying to kick them down there. And my answer is why wouldn't they want to go to the basement? And every time we talk to the kids about this, they love it. They think it's fantastic that they get their own room down in the basement. And, and this, it's gonna be a nice space for them to really explore. They're gonna have different furniture down here. They're gonna have a big old monitor and still be able to do a whole lot of youth group activities and even expand what they're doing and the number of people being able to be involved with that ministry. As we continue walking over, I'm walking through the wall, so forgive me, but I'm walking through the wall, we now have a meeting room. This is a meeting room that can be used on Sunday mornings for Bible study. It can be used during the week for a small group Bible study or large group. It can be used as a meeting room for a different meeting, a different group that might need to have a meeting. That's what this whole space is. It's a multi-use space. As we continue, you see it's rather large, and I just want to give you an idea of the size of this room. It goes all the way 
to here. We're, we're talking about a very large space for a meeting room. And like I said, one of the things I like about this is that it's not specifically for the school, it's not specifically for the church, it's for the use by the whole ministry. And we will definitely be able to accommodate groups for small groups all during the week as well as on a Sunday morning. I'm gonna go back across the hallway. In this area here, that goes from the computer lab to this wall, are the bathrooms. They will be adult sized and kid sized. It's even though there's a lot of school space down here, it will not be specifically kid sized. We will be able to accommodate adults and kids down here in this bathroom area. It is right next to a very exciting space for, for me. And I say very exciting because while this is all great, we're able to expand our ministry and make better use of the facilities that we have. One of the things I'm really excited about is that we have a science lab. The purpose of the science lab is to allow our teachers to do many things. Probably one of the biggest things that I'm most excited about, and as a classroom educator, this will allow teachers to come down here and set up their class for that day for science. And it will allow them to keep that stuff up, because right now in the classroom, when they set something up for science, they had to then put it away so they can go on with the rest of their day. That time of transition is a whole lot more than transitioning a physical set of students from one place to another. So this is very exciting in that we can actually, we're going to have it spread out to where multiple classes can be using the space, not at the same time, but they can have materials being left out. There will be sinks, there will be cabinetry, there will be a big monitor. That's what's going to be going on down here in the science lab. It's huge because science requires a lot of equipment. And this will allow the teachers to get that equipment out of the classroom, put it here in the lab, thus reclaiming space in the classrooms and the renovations that will be done upstairs. But to give you an idea, that, that's one of the walls. It's going to go all the way, and I'm still walking, and I'm still in the science lab, it's 1,200 square feet to here. So this is going to be a fantastic space that will be able to be accessed by a door from the west stairwell and the main hallway. What you see over here will not be here as we move to our next space. The meeting room ends and we have a hallway. We have a wall right here that will be gone. This wall is going to be removed to allow people to go up and down the hallway without going through the science lab. It's also the beginning of the lounge area. And the lounge area will continue all the way through the rest of the basement. As spoken about earlier, we do have elevator access to this area. This will allow people to be able to get down there if they have a stroller, they don't want to walk on the stairs, or they want to utilize the stairs. We have the elevator to allow them to accommodate that need. One of the things that's very interesting about this whole concept, and it's a little thing, but there will also be a door right off that hallway going into that meeting room so that people don't have to go as far on a Sunday morning or whatever it is. It's the little things that are important. I think. So we are going to be having that. This wall will be gone. We'll have this whole open lounge area. Another great space for Bible study. A great space for people to gather. A great space for people to hang out. It's going to be what people make it to be. There will be a closet in the back corner. And then as we continue this way, by the way, you're still in the science lab, just so you have an idea. We're going to continue the lounge, and this space is where we will have a door that will allow someone to come upstairs, downstairs from the west stairwell. So you've seen both stairwells, you've seen the elevator, different uses for them, and by the way, please understand, I am only scratching the surface in terms of what we will be able to do with this downstairs area. And I, mean, I say that because 
while we have in mind what we want to use it for, the fact of the matter is that is so small compared to what other ideas come to us by people watching this video, by ministry staff discussions, and we want to hear what you have to say about how we can utilize these spaces to further our ministry. Thank you for joining me on this tour of the, the downstairs. And if you have any questions, we hope to see you so that you can ask them. Ask away, we'll be happy to answer them. Thank you much.